High School started as a hostel for 16 Baha'i students. A Baha'i lady called as Mrs. Nobet Zadeh came and started this hostel. Then long at a time? Nyara High School works under the guidance of National Spiritual Assembly of Baha'is of India. We have classes from Standard 1 to Standard 12th. Standard 1 to 10th follow CBSE curriculum and we also have IGCSE curriculum. We have academic excellence, we have spiritual excellence and we have physical excellence. The students of New Era come from various states. They come from Gujarat, Maharashtra, we have students from Manipur also. They come from Delhi, UP, Bihar, Kerala. So um, we have a mix of different multi-diversity culture in the school. In primary, we follow a thematic integrated uh, system of education where uh, the entire syllabus is divided up into a number of themes that run across the year. So when we start a theme, we have what is called uh, the KWL. K stands for what you already know, W stands for what you want to know, and L stands for what you have learned. So that's the KWL approach and after the theme is done then they again fill in the last column which talks about what they have learned in this entire process. In the middle school we have a junior youth spiritual empowerment program in which young students discuss profound ideas in small settings and it helps in forming a strong moral identity. The most exciting part of the camp was the youth declaration. Further, outings are organized where they get a chance to interact with knowledgeable people and visit places to expand their horizons. I have come to Goa for a JYSCP camp. The title of a book is Learning About Excel. We work on a consultative mode. There is no authority over as such. Any issues regarding the classroom or the certain rules and regulations which has to be implemented, it is consulted upon with all the teachers and uh, we consult with the prefect board also before we implement it. So it is a kind of a friendly relationship between the student and the teachers and the authorities where all decisions are taken on a consultative mode. Along with that, we have the co-curricular activities like art and craft, then physical education, we have singing, we have library, and also we have in the middle school program where course helps them to enhance their English language. I'm an uh, ex-student of Nivera itself, and then I'm teaching sports over here for past 13 years. In Nivera, we've got different kinds of sports. We've got many outdoor games and indoors. Uh, recently, our football uh, our 19 team have reached the state of national level. In our school, we have got uh, different kinds of clubs. We've got tennis club, uh, then we've got badminton club, uh, uh, then table tennis club, then uh, we've got cricket and football and basketball clubs. And during these clubs, we have uh, various coaches specialized in different games come and teach the children uh, the basic and the skills which will develop their game in the sports field. When they come in the school in the beginning, they feel lonely, so as a dom parent we try to make them comfortable, sit with them, be friendly with them and talk to them as their own parents, make them comfortable and help them in all kind of things as a mother does at home or, or a father does at home. So it's really a big challenge for us, but slowly slowly the children adjust because they play together, eat together, study together, they care for each other, share the things together. 
and here they learn many life skills in the dormitory. I came from Assam. I joined last year. I came from Manipur, Infan. I'm from Kazakhstan. Dom, it's amazing. I love playing basketball here. I will never forget my friends, uh, how we had fun, how it was difficult to communicate with them when I just joined. And now I really love the school. I will miss it. The best thing about this school is that they don't stress us only on academics, but they want us to become better men and women of today's society so we can change the future. You know, being a Baha'i school, we believe that all religions are one and finally all of us have to work for the unity of mankind because all of us have been created equal. We are